How you going, folks? Now, I've got my little chilli plant here. I told you about this a while ago. Yeah, I've got a lot of chilli plants, actually, but I haven't pruned any of them, and none of you should have either, especially if you live in a colder climate like I do. These plants need to overwinter, and there's going to be dieback on them too during the winter period. This is what I mean by dieback. Look at this stem here. It's all brown on the end there. It's died off, but it's still green there, and we've got new growth coming on. And that tells me that the plant's coming back into life because we are in springtime. So what we do now, because the sap is flowing, we're going to prune this back now to get it into shape. And then we're going to repot it because it is pot bound. It's been in this pot for too long. Well, not actually pot bound. There you go. Look at that. Well, it is actually getting a little bit there. Any longer than that by this springtime, by the end of spring, summertime, that'll be quite, quite intense. And the nutrients have pretty much depleted and the microbes are pretty much gone out of that. So we'll pot that up in a second. Now I'm going to use my lowy. These are my anvil cutters. I've fallen in love with these tools. This is fantastic. You've got a small and a large. Both have a beautiful cutting action, a sliding action. Look at that. See how it sits up higher than the base there where it actually contacts when you close it? So as you close, it does a, a, a cut as you would with a knife whilst it presses into the actual wood it's, itself as well. So there's no jarring and there's no flicking of the branch. And I'm going to use the little one here, which is super smooth. So easy on the hand. Listen to that. Oh, how cool is that? So I'm going to give it a light prune over the tips. You can cut it back as hard as you like if you want in this case here because we've got new growth coming on from the bottom. Let's get rid of the bottom ones too. Dead wood here. See that? Dead wood. Cut that off. That's dead wood as well. Cut that off. Where else? This part down here, we'll cut that back there. That's dead wood here. Cut that off. That's too big already. Let's bring it back down to about this size there, which is a comfortable and manageable height. Like that. Like that. And it's already starting to take shape, ready for spring it is. A bit more, now we'll cut it there. Let's have a look. We may take a bit more off this one here. Have I missed any? Yes, I have, down here. Have a look at that. Get rid of that completely. Gone. Bit of a soft spot there. Now the rest of it's pretty much okay. And just monitor that from there on. If you see any more dieback, make sure you remove it. Don't leave it on there because it will continue working its way back down if you're not too careful with it. So that's stage one. Get yourself a pair of lowies. If you've got a small hand, the anvil cutter, this one here, I don't know what number it is. There's two sizes. You can't miss them. It's actually stated on our website, facilitiesgarden.com. The large one. This will cut through hardwood, dead wood, like it's butter. You've got to try to believe it. Now next, we're going to pot it up. I'm going to use my grow bag or grow pot and I've got my composted soil here folks and my straw so what I'm doing is basically putting a bit of soil at the bottom here what I love about these bags folks is they breathe and allows the roots to breathe just like those seedlings I showed you yesterday my tomato seedlings in those peat pots where the roots are pushing their way through the walls that's what they'll do in this in this bag as well so whether you're planting a seedling or a shrub or even a fruit tree it'll actually push its way through and the roots will grow out now as they do grow out the sun will cook those roots and they will fall off so that means it's getting a natural prune and it'll always grow outwards it won't spiral itself to death like a plastic pot does to a typical plant so top it up a bit more like that yeah a bit more it's a big pot but i don't mind because i want this plant to become a big plant it's ready for it, it deserves it. it survived winter we may, yeah, just ever so gently tease a little bit of the root. That's dry as a bone. Look at that. It's just not holding any water. Just going to gently tease it a bit just to stimulate it to move. I don't want to tear it too much because it'll go backwards. That's okay there. Bit more soil. Let's hope we've got enough soil here. Have a look at that. Now before we put our mulch on folks, we're going to put some black grit. Now this stuff here is full of calcium and that's what your plants need. Every single plant needs it. If you want it to flower, bloom, fruit, grow strong limbs, big leaves and all that and be able to absorb all the other micro and micronutrients in the soil, you need some black grit in your garden and in your pots as well. So the black grit's done. 
and some pea straw on top. Maybe too much. I got excited there, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, all right. <laughs> like that there. And there we are. And now we're going to finish this off with our EcoBoost and liquid gold to give it a good soak and get it all watering in nicely and letting the roots settle down and absorb all those wonderful nutrients and they come to life with all the microbes that we need for this plant to be able to grow big, strong and healthy. For more great products and information just like this, folks, go to our website, vasiliesgarden.com. And tomorrow, it's Saturday, that's right, we've got our gardening show on 3AW. Give us a call with your gardening questions and I'll see if I can help you and solve all your gardening problems. From me, Vasily, Maresi.